a very good evening and a very warm welcome to the Shea Stadium. Match day number two of the National League this season as the Bluebirds take on FC Halifax Town. Two teams buoyed by fantastic results at the weekend and both teams with the luxury of unchanged teams. For the Bluebirds, lining up with in goal Andrew Firth, a back four of Connor Brown, Josh Granite, Brian Wilson and Dan Jones, Jason Taylor, John Rooney and Josh Kay in the middle with Jack Hindle, Tyler Smith and Reese Turner up front. On the bench for Marrow, Matty Elston, Nathan Waterston, Luke Burgess, Raul Correa and Jack Bartram. There's a Bluebirds look to continue from where they left off at the weekend against having a Waterlooville alongside me this evening, Andy Steele, and Andy, it was a fantastic performance at the weekend. You hope to see more of the same tonight, don't you? Yeah, you certainly do. You want to see them uh, build on particularly that second half performance. I think in the first half, um, we looked a little bit disjointed at times, but we grew into it. And in the second half, we really kicked on and we want to do the same tonight. Andy Firth as Barrow have the ball now. Nice little flip here from Reese Turner, picked up by Dan Jones on this left hand side. Jones into John Rooney, space opening up for him, brings it into the penalty area, John Rooney, still in possession, takes a shot on goal, not the best of shots though from John Rooney, and in the end it's out of play for a goal kick. Done in the barrel half at the minute, now Josh Kay looking to try and switch the ball for Dan Jones, finds Dan Jones, brings it down on his chest, gets a bit lucky there from a touch from Tomlinson, and now Jones plays it into Rooney, Rooney across to Josh Kay, he's got Hindle outside him, Josh Kay will go for goal himself, Ambitious effort, drops just wide a goal for a goal kick. It's before that, he faced the trip to Leighton Orient this coming Saturday. As here come Barron out with John Rooney, brings it inside the area. Rooney plays it across, now Josh Kay again. Dribbling it inside, back to Rooney. Rooney will curl one goalwards, but not on target. It's going to be another goal kick. You know, it, it, it is improving as a half is going on for Barrow. As John Rooney plays a good crossfield ball, Jack Hindle now brings it into the middle, shapes up for another shot there, Jack Hindle, but this time couldn't get it on target. It's over the bar and it's a goal kick. In possession again, John Rooney trying to intercept, but in the end all he can do is knock the ball onto Southwell, who again catches Dan Jones out of position. Tomlinson bringing it forward into the barrel half, right by the corner flag, looks to get it into the box, now Southwell puts the ball across, a chance here as Preston with a shot, gets a block on it, now Connor Brown's able to get the ball clear. Decent sized players in there like Granite and Elsdon that can, that can probably cause a bit of trouble in the air and we've, we've got to capitalise. John Murray sends the ball in, Dan Jones gets up with a header from the edge of the box but out of play it goes, it's going to be a goal kick. And here come Halifax again with Tomlinson, Tomlinson trying to get it through, cleared away there by Elsdon, Picked up again on the halfway line by Brown. Now he tries to get it through for Southwell. Southwell does manage to get onto the ball here. Elston holding him up. Manages to flick it back to Ben Tomlinson. Tomlinson sends it into the box. Comes to Jordan Preston. Flicked across. Edwards. Has he got room to turn? He's managed to get through one. But Barrow blocked off. But it's come through to the feet of Dale Southwell. Who puts the ball into the bottom corner of the goal. And the Bluebirds on 43 minutes here in the first half. It's the breakthrough for the home side. Halifax 1, Barrow 0. Came to, came to the attacker in the area and he had four, three or four Barrow defenders around him. Not one of them could get the ball off him and in the end it was an easy tee, teeing up the shot for, for the simplest of finishes at left earth with no chance. Neil Southwell is the man who puts Halifax in front here at the Shea. Just a couple of minutes to go plus stoppage time in this first half. The Bluebirds now with a different task to what they had. Do have an opportunity here from this corner taken quickly. Comes to Josh Kay. Kay rolls the ball back forward to Rooney. Rooney turns inside well against Cameron King. Takes a shot towards the near post, deflected behind. So just while we wait for this corner to be taken here, in fact, it's been given as a goal <laughs> kick. Certainly looked like it had been deflected behind her. To the ground, he is walking rather sheepishly. He played a very awkward back pass just before to Andrew Firth. Already having lost Brian Wilson, they don't want to be losing another centre-half, but Barrow in all danger, Elston has actually dropped to ground now, but Dale Southwell in the box, puts it across the face of goal, out of play for a goal kick, but it does look as though Matty Elston is indefinite. This now by Connor Brown, holding this left-hand side, into the middle and Reese Turner, Turner out to Jack Bartram, Jack Hindle on that touchline, wanting the ball, gets the ball, Jack Hindle brings it inwards, plays a little one-two and gets the ball back, kills it on a goal! Oh. Hammers back off the crossbar there from Jack Hindle. So close there for the Bluebirds. Still bubbling about inside the penalty area. Josh Kay, back it goes to Bartram. 
Now Josh Kay again holding the ball up. Barrow get the ball back though as Brown plays it into Jason Taylor. Taylor trying to get Tyler Smith in. Cleared away once again. Picked up on the halfway line by Granite. Granite plays it out to Hindle. Josh Kay back to Hindle again. Into the box from Hindle. Takes another shot on goal. Turned over the bar this time by Sam Johnson. Much better this from Barrow. Free kick taken by Rooney, taken short. Comes to Josh Kay on the edge of the box, who's trying to fire it through a crowd of players. Blocked quite comfortably though, and now Kozilov's managed to get there, and Halifax could have a break on here. Ben Tomlinson surging forward, as is Dale Southwell. Jonathan Edwards has made a run to the back post. The ball's not the best though, deflected behind. It is going to be a corner to Halifax. An opportunity here for the corner, swung into the box. Header of goal, nestles his way into the bottom corner of the goal. And with three minutes to go, the game is done. A free header from Matty Brown into the bottom hand corner. And Barrow, having done so well on Saturday, it's going to be defeat here at the Shea Stadium. Three minutes left, it's Halifax 2, Barrow 0. Yeah, it's very disappointing from the corner. It's going to be fuming that the centre half was left unmarked to come in, run in, jump up. Got a good leap on it, good connection with the header, head it back across goal and into the corner of the net. The second competitive game in charge of the side as this time the referee does put a whistle to the lips. It's Halifax who defend that 100% start, a 2-0 win at the weekend away at Braintree. They followed it up with a 2-0 win here against Barrow, the Bluebirds going a goal down Earl right at the end of the first half Dale Southwell getting free to slot the ball beyond the reach of Andrew Firth and from a corner from the captain Manny Brown to find the back of the net to mean defeat for the Bluebirds in the second game of the campaign it has finished here at the Shea Stadium Halifax 2 Barrow 0